So hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to um, connect your Justice Cam to the Wi-Fi of your phone, as well as go into the DV Runnings 2 app and show you how to record um, a little bit of video, as well as take a picture. Uh, we're also gonna show you in this tutorial how to um, take the video that you've recorded, which will be recorded to your SD memory card. We're gonna take the SD memory card out of the Justice Cam and we're gonna put it into a little adapter um, so we can plug it into our computer and we will be able to see the video we recorded um, on our computer. So let's get into this tutorial. First thing you wanna do, you wanna turn on your Justice Cam. So you're just gonna push this button here You'll see the blue light is turned on. That means your Justice Cam is in standby mode. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna come over here to the Wi-Fi button. Hit that button. When you hit that button, you're gonna wanna make sure that the green light will turn on. When that green light turns on, you'll know that your Wi-Fi is activated. There you go. As you can see, that green light is on. That means the Wi-Fi is activated. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to our cell phone and we're gonna go into the settings of our cell phone. Click on settings. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your Wi-Fi and you're gonna look for your Justice Cam signal that's your signal there as you can see it's connecting to the justice cam when you see a check mark that means it's connected next thing you want to do is go to the dv runnings 2 app this is the dv runnings 2 app right here click on that so now we're in the DV Runnings 2 app. As you can see, it has a live preview of what's going on with the Justice Cam. We're gonna turn the camera to the left, turn it to the right, up, down. As you can see, it's giving a live video feed. Now, if you want to record, all you have to do is just push, you wanna record, audio you can push that button as well as video i'm going to push this button right here and as you can see the record button is going on right there and we're just turning the camera left and right as you can see it's recording right now as i am turning the camera now if you just want to stop your recording um, all you have to do is just push this button here and it has saved your video right there, as you can see. You can push that. Once you push that, you'll be able to see the video that you have recorded. You wanna play it. You can play it from right there. And also, we're gonna back out of that. Okay, if you just wanna take some pictures with your Justice Cam, all you have to do is just hit this photo button right here. Take a few still pictures. One, two, three, four. And it puts all of your still pictures up here as well. So also, if you want to download these to the photo, lab, photo library, excuse me, of your phone. You just wanna click on one of the pictures, click on select. All you gotta do is just hit all of those, okay? Once you do that, you wanna come down here. That's gonna download um, all of those pictures to the photo album area here. So as you can see, there's an um, icon there for album. And you can see all of those pictures are uh, stored there. 
So if you wanna download one of these photos to the photo lab library of your phone, you wanna hit select up here, click on the photo you want to download. Okay, and then you're gonna hit this button down here image saved to your gallery then all you have to do is just go to the gallery of your uh, photos and as you can see that particular photo is saved right there okay if you want to take a look at the video that we took earlier right here um, all you're going to have to do is um, go to the uh, justice camera and remember that the uh, video is saved internally to the micro SD card that's in here. So you wanna just turn your justice camera off. Justice cameras turn off now. As you can see, the light is off. Once the justice cameras turn off, you wanna take out your SD memory card. take that out this is your memory card here all right you're gonna want to put your micro SD card into the little adapter uh, this adapter came with this micro SD card so you want to stick this in here okay once you do that, you're gonna wanna go and buy you one of these um, little, um, another um, card adapter where you can stick your adapter into here, into the USB. See, it just fits in there. Now you can insert this into your computer and you'll be able to look at the video that you've taken. So we'll do that right now. You're gonna wanna stick this into your computer. All right, after you stick your a USB into your computer, you want to click on the folder in which it's stored in and all of your videos and pictures will be stored in the folder up here. So these are the pictures that we took that are JPEGs and this is the video right here. So we're going to click on the video that we took earlier and um, as you can see the video pops up. You can hit play. be able to see your video running uh, nice and smooth that we took uh, with the justice cam all right guys I hope you all enjoyed that tutorial on how to use the DV runnings 2 app um, as well as how to connect uh, your Wi-Fi from your Justice Cam to your cell phone. Uh, we took a few pictures, uh, we took a few videos, and we also were able to look at the videos on our computer. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, be on the lookout for more tutorials coming soon, and I hope you enjoy your Justice Cam. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.